Hello and welcome back to Shelf Centered. This is Bryce. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for liking and subscribing if this is something you end up enjoying. You never know, it could happen. Well, this is my weekly news segment where I like to talk about all things science fiction, fantasy, sometimes horror, as it relates to books mostly, but also media. And sometimes it's mostly media. I don't know, but not today. Uh, but anyway, so let's jump right into it. The books. All right, first things first. Brandon Sanderson, of course, I uh, almost can't get uh, away with a new segment without some Brandon Sanderson news. Uh, just an update as far as his progress in Isles of the Ember Dark. Looks like revisions are done, so the major edits, and but it's just line editing now. And this is going to be the new Cosmere book from the crowdfunding. So uh, for I, I believe it was Words of Radiance. So anyway, I should be getting this. I did order it uh, in the last thing in the Words of Radiant. Words of Radiance leather bound edition, uh, which again, hopefully will come in the next year. I don't know, you never know with Kickstarter. It's always a bit of a crapshoot. Then I wanted to talk about James Islington. He's got a new cover for The Will of the Many. Uh, this is his book that went through BookTube and has done quite well. I've not read it, I've not read anything by James Islington. Uh, you know, I just, I worry that he's gonna be yet another author I'm probably gonna love and then what am I gonna do? Have another series that I haven't finished? I gotta finish what I'm going on. <laughs> That's my main problem, I think. Uh, but I have to say, this new cover is amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, I liked the old cover. I like that kind of very standard. I mean, I'm the one that likes the Piranesi cover with the very long alum right there. But I have to say, this new cover I just think is so cool. It like it's like, is it science fiction? Is it fantasy? It's so cool. I love it. It really, I mean, just the angles on it. There's so many things to it. Uh, I uh, and, and that's. Part of I saw a little bit of a spat on Twitter uh, slash X uh, about are these the new covers going forward and some frustration like are you kidding me just like stick with something uh, which I can totally understand I am the first to be like come on publishers do, do you hate us sometimes uh, or is it just that you like money I get it. Uh, but when they change up editions and suddenly we've got multiple different ed editions of a, of, of a series that, that, of course, is just now, I mean, this is literally book two is coming out. Like, I think it was just barely finished by the author. So we don't even, I don't even know when the, the, the date is that it comes out unless editing Bryce does know that. But anyway, apparently this might be the new direction, which I'll be honest, as someone who doesn't own it, <laughs> I am actually pretty excited for it because it seems pretty cool. Uh, anyway, sorry about that for anyone who does have the old version uh, and uh, prefers that. I, just, I still like it and I still would have been fine with that direction. This one just looks so cool. Uh, but also this looks like a special edition, so uh, anyway, it's like a weird thing. But anyway, James Islington dis discusses it on Daniel Green's latest news, uh, so definitely go check that out. I like that. Then a cover dropped, speaking of dropping, it's A Drop of Corruption by Robert Jackson Bennett. Robert Jackson Bennett is one of my favorite authors. This is the sequel to The Tainted Cup. It looks like it's gonna be coming out next year. Uh, it's going along with the same, you know, same cover type. Also by Will Stule. I Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, but looks looks good. It looks like alignment in alignment. Um, but again, I hope uh, Bennett does all kinds of sales and everything because I absolutely love him as an author uh, and want more. Want to want to see more. Then we got speaking of sequel news, Queen Demon by Martha Wells is going to be the sequel to The Witch King, uh, which is which <laughs> man I'm all about, I'm all about the dad jokes today. I'm all about the puns, uh, which. Uh, did it was a finalist for uh, the Hugo Awards as I just I was uh, looking up at the last new segment um, so that's pretty cool so anyway the series is getting some critical attention I love Martha Wells's Murderbot series been a big fan uh, and I've only heard great things about her other series that uh, and mostly that she's criminally underrated and that is and, and at least it's changing it seems like then I thought this was cool Davis Ashura uh, has got a new cover up it's for the solace of hope this is the eternal ephemera book number three I'll be honest how cool is that cover uh, the panda it's like it's not even kung fu panda it's like a real kung fu panda I don't know it's not, it's so cool looking I just think that's awesome definitely makes me want to read it why is there this like human looking panda on there then I also found out blood over bright haven this is one of the latest from ml wong uh, author of one of my favorites of a couple years ago sort of kaigen a little book you probably haven't heard about 
Uh, independently published was that uh, Del Rey apparently is publishing Blood Over Bright Haven in October of this year, October 29th specifically. Uh, so it's getting, you know, a, she's getting her traditional uh, uh, space there, and I, I definitely will be checking that out. I won't be able to help myself, I am sure. Then I wanted to point out, speaking of covers, there's gorgeous, gorgeous covers. Uh, that Jenny Wirtz, one of my favorite authors, as you can see here, um, who also did this cover, by the way, and there's a reason I have it facing out because I love it so much, uh, new covers that she was just posting about uh, submitting for Grim Oak Press special editions of the Empire series. So this is Servant of the Empire, and I just love it. I love, it's kind of similar to this, the colors, the colors are just so vibrant, and I just love it. Uh, and that's how I understand it uh, in, you know, this other land uh, there uh, that is not Midkemia. Uh, it's been a while, but I think I still remember some things. And I just think that's so cool. Again, the, the just not even triple threat, not even, I mean, it's like, the decathlon of artistry where words can do all of the things speaking of the olympics i guess um, artists uh can do the actual artwork the the art of writing beautiful stories uh and then all the other things she can do in her life which go check out her interviews it's like this is a woman who's done so many things and just i i want to be like hers that's all i'm saying i want to be like her and I think if we were all like her, we'd all like the world would be a much better place. Sadly, on that note, <laughs> that's my segue into terrible news, and I did want to address it again. I try not to shy away from even things that are involving some of my favorite authors, uh, but uh, more Neil Gaiman allegations. I did just want to kind of point this out. I thought Bookish Chaz did a really good job on his channel of kind of addressing it. As Bookish Chaz has stated, he like Neil Gaiman's one of his all-time favorite authors, and he's you know. Having to come to grips with with some of these allegations. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, of, of of misconduct from Neil Gaiman and you know some older, some newer. And so anyway, I think he really addresses it in a good way of just kind of um, of understanding, kind of innocent until proven guilty, but at the same time investigating and taking things seriously so i thought that was it's a it's a really good breakdown that he does all right then in media news let's jump to the media news rings of power got a trailer uh i'll be honest and this is what gets what got me last time it does look good they do a good job on the trailers uh the problem is like the action it looks really cool in the trailers but i remember rings of power season one some of that action was just like ridiculous it, like it didn't make sense there were things that were just like what is even going on and why? Uh, so I just, I you know, it may look good, but I, I am weary. I, you know, it tricked me before. Uh, and, and that's the problem these days is like, you can make things look so good. Our cinematography is amazing, uh, but the substance just isn't always there. And that's the problem is we still have these like cardboard garbage characters that have not been developed well at all and then maybe getting into some other things where i just it's like do you care is it, am i gonna care am i gonna like what is it not to mention there's just all these inaccuracies so it's you know with with the lore as i understand it and again this is i i haven't <laughs> i've read the main trilogy multiple times i've read the hobbit multiple times i've even read the silmarillion um, but not, I haven't read the histories and, of Middle Earth and all that, so I know there's a lot that I'm lacking, but as I understand it, these are, even in the trailers you can tell just like there's some just changing of the lore, which is just really frustrating, because it's like, what did Amazon get the license to was like a small part of the appendix of book three, and then now we're just gonna like, I don't know, like throw everything out, it seems like. So that's, it's just, it's just frustrating that this is how it's treated. I'm almost like, it's hard to tell, like, I feel like for some of these, like, hey, look, we did well, so let's keep going. And it's like, did you just do well just because Lord of the Rings is going to do well? Do you just do well because Star Wars is going to do well? And it's hard to, like, find out that you, like, created something that's garbage. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm sorry. But, uh. Anyway, that's been the news to me. Don't forget to check out the Kindle book ebook deals down in the comments below. They are affiliate links. Purchases do help the channel. So thank you so much, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.